hello guys welcome back to my channel this is Mimi Forex here again and um, this is a kind of a result from the last video I did if you've not watched the video do it just go back to my last video and you will see the reason why I entered this trade right so but meanwhile I might decide to merge it together with the previous video that is I'll cut the last part of the previous video and probably merge it with this one that's it to be like a before and after of the trade right that most people more might not really have the chance to go back to watch the previous video now i'm not doing this in a kind of a way to prove that i am the best no i'm not doing this from a standpoint of perfection right i'm just saying that we are all learning from the market right but um probably because of one thing or the other i'm kind of more advanced right so i'm here to just share the little idea i have that might be of help right in your trading career so now um this is this is if you check my previous video okay maybe if i will merge the video together you are going to see that i did analysis that the market will pull back from the zone right from this trend line right here actually i didn't wait i didn't trade the pullback i trade the breakout right here because of um some kind of reasons i trade the breakout and um, the market just navigates all through you can see the market is already pulling to the upside so um just a quick recap i don't know should i do a quick recap or i merge the video any of that you can see the trade is already going right so it's already going all the way to the top to the top either from here this is these are not this is not if one just one position there are positions here so closing one probably anywhere here the market is or the market is already breaking so either here one so i'll just i'll just see how the market reacts while going up right so decide to close or um no greedy but probably trade all the way to 5k who knows <laughs> So um, that's just about it about it. Uh, maybe I might swing the trade or just let it run, right? Or just let it run from the daily time frame. You can see the trade is already pumping. It's pumping to the upside. So we might probably have a pull. We might probably have a pullback from here, right? Drawing from swing low, probably have a pullback from swing low to swing high. Maybe a pullback, right? So but we'll see how the market reacts. If there's a pullback. If there's a pullback with some candlesticks reaction pattern from here, I might be closing probably one or two from this trade. Right, I'm already break even, so enter another one at the. Remember, we are buying at the minimum. We are buying it at the low cost. So I may close the pro, pro, the positions here depending on the pattern. The market won't just reach a point and start retracing like that, right? So the, the market will give you a pattern, give you a warning sign, amber color. I'm I'm ready. I'm I'm not ready to go to this position. You better close whatever you're holding before it starts retracing. The only reason why you keep holding a position is you already calculate what you use the profit to do before the market goes to that position. The market is moving thousand pips. It's already say this one thousand dollars. Now I'm going to buy a profit account. I'm going to do one or two things with the money, and I'll do one or two things with this other money. I'll buy S23 and all of that, all of that, all of that packaging, right? You know those stuffs. And the market is still just giving you $20. <laughs> and the market is giving you an amber sign. Look, bro, I'm not ready to go to this direction. Be careful, be careful. Either a break even or a close trade, you are just holding it. It's consolidating, even giving you more grace. It's supposed to consolidate for maybe probably 12 hours. It's giving you days or a day, a full day. You are still holding. We are holding, we are holding. Just be careful. Each candlestick display a pattern. You just have to learn how to read candlesticks properly. Candlesticks, see, there is no indicator here. I'm not using moving average. I'm not saying they are bad, right? So, but I'm just telling you, there are no moving average, just lines and horizontal, Fibonacci, supply and demand. You read the candlesticks and you are good to go, bro. You get the point. So, um, that is it about it. I might merge the video or I'll just upload this one. So, Thank you for watching please if you are interested and you like how i swing trade of course my number will be in the description box as always right and for signals also my number is in the description box as always please if you are new to this channel which is more important do it to like and subscribe turn on the bell notification once i drop awesome videos probably if it's awesome to you um, like this you do where you can watch it and learn from it that's what this channel is here for 
right see you in my next video and by i also have a trade running on um let me show you before i before i leave the trade let's let's go to boom 1000 right so i also have this one running here so this is uh let's go to one hour so i also have boom 1000 boom 500 running here so let's see okay somebody asked me the other time do you only trade do you only trade boom and crash i was like no i don't trade only this why i trade boom and crash mostly is because they tend to hold my trend line and all of that not actually basically they respect the strategy what i'm saying is that like all these suppliers support this horizontal to and trend line you're seeing here most times in the big spares once i draw this trend line if i just close my phone and come back the trend line are gone so like I'm saying, um, before I draw this thing and come back, all the trend line are gone, right? So that's it about it. And um, yeah, so see you in my next video and um, take care of yourself. And you see the market is still pumping to the upside. There is spike, spike, spike. So but actually I'm looking forward that this, at this um, trend line right here, at this supply and demand, there will be a reaction so probably if the market should break through this trend line i'll still be holding but if i see a pattern around here i'll be closing okay now someone asked me why did i enter this trade sorry before i forget i entered this trade um just because of a basic reason right i'm going to show you why i entered this trade this is also what i always preach so far right you can see the market is pumping to the upside so um why did i enter this trade this is the third touch of the trend line but before i tell you this is the third touch of the trend line remember this is also a double top this is what i always preach in a particular time frame you are going to see different patterns but the only thing that will help you navigate which pattern to look out for is when you come when you are coming from the higher time frame so um this is one step higher and this is stuck in the box you can see the market is stuck in a range right so now but what will i why am i trading lower of course i supposed to be selling because here there's a there's a strong resistance right here there's a strong resistance right here this is also a double top and this market couldn't reach up to that point so there is the sellers are kind of pushing it down but why do i choose to sell and sell and sell but there will be sell and out of the box now i choose to sell because my weekly time frame which is my overall where i take my bias is that the market has not yet gotten to four thousand the market has not what yet gotten to four thousand so if i should draw my because um the market respects this psychological levels a lot right it respects the psychological levels a lot so you have if you if you can plot the psychological level really well you are going to see that the market is going to respect it a lot so around that close to that 6.18 which is the support at this point is where i'm looking to go short either go short or break through right <laughs> yeah either go short or break through so that's where i'm looking to go short so since the market haven't gotten to this place remember what i said in my previous video as long as the market has left the psychological level is kind of anyhow going to the next one and the market has broken through the 50 fibonacci that's from this psychological to this cycle so probably our about 80 percent we are heading to this point this psychological level so that's what i will just do i'll just scale down to lower time frame with that analogy of buy 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 i'm not looking for anything otherwise i'll just go down okay i'm seeing stock in the box that's fine i'll just go down what am i seeing again and i'll draw my first trend like you can see the first touch right here so you can see the first touch right here the second touch now um what am i waiting for this is now the third touch now i'm not just gambling the market right there i'll just then it now look like a double double bottom you can see it right here so i'm not just gambling right there then i'll go to the one hour and play my confirmation entry and see where i enter the trade and that is it we are good to go so i already break even on the trade so yeah that's it about this trade so i don't think i'm going to merge it so i'll just try merging it but yeah stay peeping keep it peeping keep it really simple look the secret of trading is not to complicate things it's not to complicate things keep it really simple keep it really simple and basic like very basic and plain right that is the only way you're going to make headway and that may be the only way if you are struggling so far to make headway because you keep complicating things 
you keep remaining in that direction it has happened to me most of the things i'm sharing here i'm speaking out of the experience right i'm speaking from the place of the experience so keep it really simple keep it really simple keep it really simple and see you in my next week thank you for the support i'm seeing your comments i'm seeing your calls thank you for the support and yeah i'll keep up with my with my analysis i'll keep up posting right so all you have to do is to always like and comment to help the channel grow yeah thank you for everything and um yeah i hope you have a good sunday see you in my next trade and um bye